Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another video on the various ciphers you need to know for Codebusters. Um, and today we're going to be looking at something called the Complete Columnar Cipher. If you've never heard about it before, don't worry, I'll talk about it a little bit and then we're going to solve a quick practice problem on the Complete Columnar Cipher. So essentially what the Complete Columnar Cipher is, is it's just a transposition cipher. And what that means is that we're not going to change any of the letters in this message. Rather, you can consider them to be sort of scrambled, which is why we just need to reorient or reorganize these letters, and then we're going to get the message that we want. So let's take a look at this practice problem here. Um, here we are told that we have a quote, and it has the word cooler in it somewhere. And so it's up to us to figure out where cooler is. And then through that, we'll be able to um, decode this quote. So the first thing you want to do is we see that they're in groups of five. And so we can count how many letters we have. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So if you take a look at the various pairs um, that you can multiply together to get five or 45, you get, you know, one times 45, you get three times 15, um, you get five times nine, nine times five, and then everything, you know, five times three and 45 times one. So out of this, you can sort of kind of assume that the most common ones are probably going to be 5 times 9 and 9 times 5. Um, and for our case, we're going to start by um, doing 9 down and 5 across. And so I'll show you how to sort of arrange your ciphers so that you get the answer that you want. <clears throat> And note that if um, five uh, or sorry, nine down, five across doesn't work, you could easily just flip it and see if that works out instead. So we're going to go, since we're doing nine down, we're going to start over here. And these are our first nine letters. And we're simply just going to write them going in the down direction. So I'm just going to go I, I, D, T, E, O, U, N, F. Now we go ahead and do the next nine. So I, O, A, I, T, E, I, U, I. Then we're going to go ahead and, you know, keep going. So you have H, L, um, E, T, O, B, A, O, E. Then we have S, U, K. S C R R T M. We have W C M H S O T O T. All right, so that's how we want to arrange it. Now, what we want to do is uh, we know the word or our cipher has cooler somewhere in it. So I'm going to use red for this so you guys see what I'm kind of pointing to. We can see that we have a C and O. O, L, E, and R. Guess what that makes? It makes up cooler. So now what we have to do is we have to rearrange these columns in some sort of manner that we can make cooler. Uh, we can make cooler and that's, let's take a look at how we're going to do that. So the first thing you kind of notice is that uh, the start of the word and the end of the word are in the same row, C and R. And so if we were to move this, uh, this column anywhere else, that would change the length of our word overall. Um, so if we take a look, and let's just keep it at the present so far, um, what we can do is we see that we have a C here, and the only other letter um, in the word cooler that we have in that row is the O. So we're going to keep C there, and all we're going to do is we're going to shift over our O co entire column um, to that spot over there. Now what we're going to get essentially is we're going to get C, O, and then we have an O in this column. So if we keep that, we get C, O, O. 
Now, we know our R is directly underneath our C, so we don't need to do anything about that. And all we have left is our L and E. So if we were to move this entire column um, over to this spot, we get an L here. And then we, if we move our this entire column over one spot, we get an E here. And that might ends up making cooler. So obviously, if some of these arrows don't make too much sense to you, we can go ahead and number our columns. So we want to keep this column at the spot that it is. So we're going to write the number four. Now this column, we needed to shift over here so we can get CO. So we can write the number five above it because that's our last column. Now this column, we're fine with where it is because it helps us get COO. So we're just going to write a one. Now we need this column to shift to this spot over here so we can get COOL or COOL. So we're going to write the number two. And then lastly, if we get the number three. So now if we go ahead and rearrange all these columns, you'll kind of see what I was talking about. So we're going to keep the first column where it is. So I, I, D, T, E, O, U, N, or that's an F. Now, uh, this column is going to be our column number two. So W, C, M, H, S, L, T, O, T. Now, this column is going to be our third column. I, O, A, I, T, E, I, U, I. Then we're going to have our fourth column. It's going to remain the same. S, U, K, S, C, R, R, T, M. And then lastly, our fifth column. Um, H, L, E, T, O, B, A, O, E. All right. So my handwriting might be a little bit off there. But you can kind of see that you get the word cooler over here. And if we go ahead and just read from left to right and then we go down, we can see it says, I wish I could make this test. And then we get our word cooler, but I ran out of time. So that's how you're going to sort of um, decrypt this cipher. All right. So there's another method um, wh which uh, sometimes is used for decryption. Um, and so I'm just going to explain it really quick, but then you guys are going to end up doing this question on your own. So over here, we can see that we have um, we have one X. All right, so kind of the goal when you have X's in your cipher for complete columnar is usually these aren't part of words. Um, rather, when you go ahead and list out your columns, the X's should always be the last letters in your cipher. What it means is that, you know, because of the way that they encrypted the cipher for the number of letters to match, um, they just added X's at the end. So here we, I can only see one X. So when you guys try this problem on your own, just know that the X has to be the very, very last letter when you're um, trying to decrypt the cipher. Now, if you have two X's, there would be the last two letters, last three, so on and so forth. But since we only have one, it's going to be the very last letter. And so just kind of keep that in mind as you try to decrypt this cipher. So go ahead and pause the video right now and see if you guys can take a shot at this cipher and figure out what it means. All right, so hopefully you guys paused the video and took a look at this. Um, I forgot to point this out earlier, but it does say the quote has the word saying in it. So you should hopefully have found that somewhere in your cipher. Um, here is our answer. I'm going to go ahead and just drag it up a little bit so we can take a look at it. What we see is it's six across this way and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen down this way. So this was a quite lengthy cipher. Um, 
But in the end, you can see that the X ended up being the very, very last um, letter. And the word saying is right here. And in the end, we get um, our answer to be I've learned, um, learned enough. Um, times in life that saying, and that's our uh, key word over there, something is completely different than acting, um, then acting a point. So that's um, kind of what you should have gotten, acting, then acting a point. So that's what you should have gotten. Um, and I think the main key thing that you want to remember there is that it has that last letter X, and that's kind of the key to figuring out how to solve your cipher. All right, so hopefully you guys understood how to um, do the complete column or cipher. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.